Hello, Willow friends. I'd like to say a big hello to Raylan and William and Victor and Nora and Cole and Ben and Indigo and Layton and Emerson and Kingsley and Russell and Winnie and Emma and Luke and Mrs. Caitlin. Hello. Mwah. So good to be with you guys. All right, here we go. Let's start with the weather. What's the weather like? What's the weather like? What's the weather like today? Tell us, Willow friends, tell us, Willow friends, what's the weather like today? Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous and what, friends? Tell us, Tanner, what's the weather like? Sunny. It's sunny. It is sunny. It is sunny. It is sunny today. It is sunny. It is sunny. It is sunny today. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. What is it, Tanner? It's Thursday. Thursday. When I say today, you say Thursday today. Thursday. Today. Thursday. When I say Thursday, you say today. Thursday. Today. Thursday. Today. What is today? Today is Thursday. What is it? It is Thursday. What is today? Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday morning. And if today is Thursday, <coughs> tomorrow's going to be ba, ba, Friday. All right, guys. So here we go. Let's see what the date is. We know it's March. Let's start with one. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Okay, so let's go down here. I think that this right here. Here is a 26, it's a 2 and a 6, but let's count to make sure. Everybody count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. It is. We're smarty smarties. It's a 2 and a 6. Good job. Good job. Woo, woo. Good job, good job, whoop, whoop. G O O D J O B. Good job, good job, whoop, whoop. Sorry, friends. My my oldest, who is Tanner today, is the one that's holding, that's videotaping us, and he's making me giggle because he's giggling behind the scenes. All right, guys. So let's look to see. We have got to see what comes after that raindrop. We're gonna start right here. You ready? Raindrop, raindrop, clover, flower. Raindrop, raindrop, clover, flower. Raindrop, raindrop, clover, flower. Raindrop, raindrop, clover, flower. Raindrop, raindrop. raindrop. Good job. All right. So we got to write a two and a six, right, friends? Two and a six. It is March the 26th. Today is Thursday, and it's 2020. All right, friends, so we talked about rainbows, right? So we're going to read our little Elmer rainbow book. I know this is another one of our favorite books that we've read in the past. So here we go. Elmer and the Raindrop by David McKee. Look, there's Elmer, our patchwork elephant. Oh, my goodness, look at the beautiful rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. These are the colors of the rainbow. Red. Orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. All right. Elmer the Patrick Elephant was in a cave, sheltering from a storm. With him were other elephants and birds. Thunder and lightning is so exciting, said Elmer. And after the storm, we might see a rainbow. When the storm had stopped, Elmer and the birds went outside. Elmer felt drops on his head. Oh, he said, it's still raining. Perhaps it's the rainbow crying, said a bird. It's come out too soon and lost its colors. Look. Oh, friends. Look, it has. It's lost its colors. In the sky was a pale shape. A rainbow without colors, said Elmer. That's awful. We must do something. 
I'll give it my colors. How kind is Elmer? He leads with kindness, doesn't he, friends? Just like you guys do. To do that, you'll have to find where it touches the ground, said a bird. Nobody knows where that is. Well, what are we waiting for, said Elmer? Let's start searching. You go that way. I'll go this way. Okay, they're all going together. Here we go. What are you looking for, Elmer, said Lion. The end of the rainbow, said Elmer. Have you seen it? Which end, asked Lion. Either end, said Elmer. The rainbow has lost its colors. I can give it mine. Mine, if we can find the end. A rainbow without colors? That is serious, said Tiger. Come on, Lion. We'd better search. You two rabbits will roar when we find it. So now even more friends. So we have the birds, we have Elmer, we have the lions and the tiger looking for it. Oh, a giraffe. A little later, Elmer met giraffe. Elmer, she said, there's something strange in the sky. Well, that's the rainbow, said Elmer. And he told her about it. He told her about that it had lost its colors. Can you see where it touches the ground? Giraffes stretch very high because they have very long necks. No, I can't, she said. What will happen to you, Elmer, if you give it your color, she asked. But Elmer was already on his way to get the elephants. Okay, so now giraffe. Giraffe is joined, right? The elephants were still in the cave. We're not coming out with that thing in the sky, they said. But when Elmer had explained the problem, the elephants were ready to help. What about Elmer if he gives his colors away? What will happen, asked the elephants. I suppose he'll be like us, said his, said his friends. Better than than a colorless rainbow. It is very sad, a colorless rainbow, friends. Elmer was with the monkeys when the birds returned. No luck so far, they said. We'll keep looking. Nobody can find the end of the rainbow, said a monkey. But it'll be fun to try. So now the monkeys are joining with the elephants, with the giraffe, with the tiger, with the lion, and with the birds. Oh, and don't forget the rabbits. Everybody's working together. By the time Elmer arrived at the river, everyone was looking for the rainbow. Hello, fish, he called. I don't suppose you know where the rainbow starts, do you? Usually at the waterfall, said a fish. But today, there's some pale thing there. That's the rainbow, said Elmer. Come on, to the waterfall. It's at the waterfall. Sure enough, a colorless rainbow was coming from the waterfall. Oh, my stars. Look at that, friends. The search was over. Elmer, the fish and the crocodiles, called loudly to the other animals. Then without waiting, Elmer went behind the waterfall. Is it going to work, guys? Is he going to be able to give his color to the rainbow? What do we think? You think so, Tanner? Yes. Oh, Tanner. Oh, Tanner, you're right. Look at that. By the time the other animals arrived, Elmer was out of sight. Colors gradually began to appear in the rainbow. Hooray! You cheered the animals. But what? about Elmer, whispered an elephant. Oh my goodness, what do you think? You think he's an ordinary elephant? Or do we think he's still the patchwork? <gasps> Let's see. Oh, look guys, he's Elmer. As if in answer, Elmer appeared from behind the waterfall. He's still at his colors. The animals cheered again. But Elmer said an elephant, you gave your colors to the rainbow. How can you still have them? Elmer chuckled, some things you can give. And give and give and give and not lose any. Things like happiness or love or even my colors. Oh, how wonderful. Later on the way home, Tiger said, I wonder if the rainbow would be patchwork. Elmer grinned. Don't even think about it, said Lion. We have enough trouble with the patchwork elephant. This time, Elmer laughed out loud. Oh, it would be beautiful, wouldn't it, friends? So guys, I didn't make my own patchwork rainbow, and we have before, but if you wanted to get all the beautiful colors from Elmer and melt and make your very own patchwork rainbow, you could, couldn't you? Okay, so that was a wonderful book about kindness, right? Elmer was willing to give something that was very special to himself to help cheer up the rainbow and all the other animals. He leads with kindness in our hearts just like we eat should every day, right, friends? Okay. So, I'm going to ask Tanner to slowly move the camera over here. Tanner, will you sit in front? Okay, guys. So, here's our letter X xylophone. Xylophone starts with X, right, friends? Just like mix, Mr. X-Ray. So, we have, Tanner, will you, can you see it, Tanner? So, guys, 
you're gonna cut out or draw two black rectangles, right? You're gonna glue them on. I did not have black paper, so I drew mine. Then I used the paper that is down here on the ground and I cut out a red, an orange, a yellow, a green, blue, and purple, just like the rainbows. Just like the rainbow, that's what's in a beautiful, colorful xylophone, right? Do you notice that each one is a little bit smaller than the one before? So we have the one that is super, super large, right? And then we go down by size a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller, and even smaller. So, super, super big, very big, big, medium, small, and tiny. And then I drew my little handles that I would play with. You could also cut those out of brown paper, or you could even use Q-tips, or you could use craft sticks, whatever you have. And then you're gonna write xylophone down at the bottom. There's my beautiful X. And what would be awesome, guys, is if you got the colors of the rainbow and markers, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and you wrote X's all around it. And if you do, Please send them to everybody on our mind so we all can share and see your beautiful X's, okay? So there's that. Now, this is super fun. This is my rainbow banner, and it looks like a beautiful piece of artwork, right? And I outlined it in masking tape. I just happened to have red and yellow masking tape. I tore it off. I made a frame. Then what I did, guys, is I drew a long straight line. Then I drew a black zigzag line and then look how fun a curly 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 line right this is just like what if we what if we wrote letters right we have straight lines we have we have straight letters lines that we use in letters like the letter what would be straight L right and L would be a vertical and then a horizontal is a straight line and then we have slanted lines which would be in the letter K or V and then we have some beautiful curlies like in our B or our C, right? Where we have to do the backstrokes. So that's what that is. So that's why, that's why I thought this would be a great activity to do. But then, of course, we've got to use our beautiful colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Because they are the colors in the rainbow. So I take my glue. I slowly, friends, I'm not in a hurry, right? We're not in a hurry. We have all the time in the world taking our time. Taking our time, tracing what our parents wrote for us, or drew for us, rather. Then, I'm going to take my colors, and I'm going to start with red. I did two at a time. You can do as many as you want, okay? So, two at a time. There's two reds. Then, what comes next? Two oranges, and then two yellows. It's going to get tricky as we curve around. We might even need to cut our pieces, our squares. Some kind of look like rectangles. Smaller, right, guys? So, you follow all the way around. What comes after blue, guys? Purple. Then we go back through our pattern because the rainbow is a pattern, right? So, let's sing our song to help us remember. Red, orange, yellow. Whoop! I switched it. Did you see that? No, they're green. Look, guys. Oh, my goodness. My Sean's getting confused. Green, blue, purple. And then what comes next? Red. Orange. Oh, and this is going to confuse me next time, too, I bet. Orange. Yellow. Green. Blue, purple. Do you think we can use? You think we have just enough to do one more round? I do. What? Where? Where do we start again, guys? We got to go back to the beginning of our pattern, which is red, red, orange, yellow. Green. Oh, I think this might be, whoop, we might be just a hair off, guys. Let's see if I can make that go around just a little bit. Yes, look perfect. And then I'll do two blues and two purples. Look, we made it all the way through. That's awesome. 
So here we go, guys. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. There we go, guys. So take your time. Uh-oh. Miss Shauna lost the orange. And when you go to set it up, guys, make sure that you put everything in order. That's going to help you remember your pattern also, right? Red first, then orange, then yellow, then green, blue, and purple. And parents, I actually, these are little square cards that I got from Dollar General. They came in a nice big pack that looks like note cards. And it came in a stack just like this over in the craft area of Dollar General. Okay, guys, have a great rest of your day. Mwah, I love you guys. Oh, Tanner, thank you. Tanner just pointed to Blueberry. So, friends, we took Blueberry home, and Kingsley's mommy, Miss Kendra, sent me an email saying Kingsley was very worried about Blueberry and wanted to make sure that she could see him. And I said, oh, my goodness, what a great idea. Let's feed him. So, here we go. Cameron has actually been feeding him. There's Blueberry. He is happy, 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 friends. I already look. I already have my food in there. This is our little food dish. Miss Caitlin, I promise we're not shaking too many. And there we go. He's a happy little guy. Oh, look. Is he, He's found it, guys. All right. So, Blueberry saying goodbye to you guys. See you all. Mwah. See you later. Have a great night.